Hey guys, how are you today? I wanted to jump on. Of course, I'm running late as normal, so I just barely got my hair done. Um, I've been using uh, CBD oil to help with the chronic pain, and it's been helping a lot. It, it really helps me sleep, so uh, which is a good thing because when you have chronic pain, you can't really sleep, and um, you know, so the fact that that helps is pretty amazing. But hey, Carol, how are you? I'm not sure if you got your kit yet. Probably not quite yet, but I'm so excited for you to get it. You're gonna have so much fun with it. And uh, so I am just uh, going to get some stuff thrown on. I gotta go to the chiropractor. I gotta go to um, A dot or uh, DMV rather or MVD is what they call it here. <clears throat> I gotta go over there. Um, what else? Oh, and then I'm gonna go to church, and then um, I gotta go deliver a rosary to a lady who special ordered a rosary. And um, so, anyway, I am using liquid foundation today. So I'm just putting a few drops of my normal color and a few drops of my summer color mixed together and I put a little bit of foundation um, concealer on that brush too because my eyes are pretty dark today and wow we got some light going on I can't even tell what color is good so I don't know if that's not good Carol let me know if you would so what I'm doing is I put it on the brush and now I'm just dotting it around my face and then holding the brush toward the end so I don't press too hard. I'm just going to start making little circles to blend in all those dots. And the reason you don't want to press too hard is if you press too hard with this foundation, um, you'll start streaking it. And then you'll just have like brush streaks everywhere. So. The secret to, until you learn not to press too hard, and even sometimes I still press too hard, so just pull your fingers out more toward the, the end of your brush, and that way you can't press too hard. Same way with blending your eyeshadow. If on your blending brush, you will just take your fingers out toward the end, and then you get just light little strokes and you're not blending too much off. You're not smearing stuff. And then as I get down here, I'm just going to start pulling it oops, down my neck a little bit. So it doesn't up onto the ears. Always blend into the hairline. Grab like, I at least grab my earlobes just a little bit so that if I pull my hair back, there's not this really beautiful makeup and then these stark white earlobes staring at you. And then you always want to blend up into your hair hairline so that you don't have like this little centimeter of just not colored. So, hey everybody popping in. Hi, honey. Hi, James. I know you're probably not going to stay. It's a makeup video. However, if you would share it for me. To the ladies on your list, I would really very much appreciate it. And are you going to be going to the uh, multi-year reunion, James? Um, up in Page, I, October or next year? I can't remember when it's supposed to be. It would be nice to see people I haven't seen in a long time. So, aw, honey, thank you. You're my biggest fan. I love you. So anyway, um, that's the foundation. Uh, I thought I'd kind of concentrate on highlight and contouring today for people. So are you absolutely you are going or absolutely you will share the video or both, James? I guess that's an absolutely is going. Um, <laughs> Carol, I get it with slow connections at work, but you can always catch the replay too if you can't. Can, uh, watch it all at work. I get it. When I, when I used to work, um, like a eight to five job, um, 
yeah, our connection was horrible. And then I really couldn't watch it because we have, of course, Verizon will not give you unlimited data unless you pay out the wong wong for it. So, okay, so I got my foundation on. Now I'm going to use some concealer in about two shades lighter than my foundation. And I just use my fingers. Some people use a sponge or a brush, but uh, God gave me a finger, I use it. So I put a little bit on and don't forget to share my video, honey. I know your cousins watch it and they don't do anything about it, but um, you know, to your cousins in the Philippines, um, you can sell unique in the Philippines. So if you guys are interested in making extra money there in the Philippines for putting your makeup on, um, Sharon, or no, it's Sharon, right? Sharon likes to make up more than, or is it Sheila? I can't remember. Anyway, uh, whichever one of you likes to make up and would like to make some extra money, maybe, uh, we can find out some information for you because you can sell unique in the Philippines. So, and you get paid to put your makeup on. So that's pretty cool. So what I'm doing with the concealer is I'm just taking little bits of concealer at a time because this is very pigmented and goes a very long way. So I'm just putting it in like a triangle under my eyes with your highlighting. You don't want to just put right on the dark spots because then it's just like, it looks like just a slash under your eyes. What you're trying to do with your highlighter is um, once we put the foundation on it kind of gives us a blank slate and then our highlighter is giving us um, light back onto our canvas where the sun would naturally hit your skin anyway so now I've gone right down the center of my nose with some and then I'm putting just a little triangle up here I like to pull mine across a little more because I have a really big forehead area, but I keep it pretty low because to do an illusion of not such a big forehead, because see that thing in your face? In your face? Um, I'm going to put contouring up top, and that kind of helps make an illusion of it not quite so huge and Frankenstein-y. Um, now, if you have a rounder face with your contour, you're going to just hit the corners. The corners and then your cheekbones. But for those of us with like the big oval face with the huge forehead, um, you can go all the way across. So for contouring today, I'm going to use Beachfront Body Bronzer. And... <laughs> Yeah, Verizon is something, isn't it, Carol? But uh, Beachfront Body Bronzer, this is the color Hermosa. So this is like one of my favorite things to use. Hi, Cam, how are you? So I'm just going to swirl on both sides with the Beachfront, bro Beachfront Body Bronzer. You get one side that's a matte color and one side that's a shimmer. But I like using both colors. And then, like I say, we're going to use it as a contour today. So I'm going to start right here at the top of my ear. And I'm going to just follow my cheekbone down to about the corner of my eye. And I'm using the side of the brush right now. And if you notice, I'm kind of following along the highlighting line as well. And then we're just going to kind of blend that in. And don't worry if it looks dark right now. Um, <clears throat> at the end, I kind of blend everything back in with another brush. So see how that now kind of pulls your cheekbone down a little bit, whereas this side still is like... So this is how I say you can lose 10 pounds without going on a diet, is just make it look like your face is skinnier than what it is. So again... I just put some right on that line and then blending it in 
I'll probably put just a little bit too much color up there, but that's okay. We'll blend it out. That's what blending's for. And now I'm going to cross my forehead. Again, we're giving that illusion of the forehead not so huge. And everybody's always like freaking out going like, you got like these lines and it's okay, we'll fix it. Don't worry. And then we're gonna give ourselves an illusion of a jawline. As we get older, the jawline kinda starts disappearing. So you wanna go under the jaw, not up on top. If you go up on top, that's not an illusion of a jawline. So we're gonna go right underneath. And like I say, don't worry about the streaks right now and how it looks like there's like these dark streaks and and uh, stuff. We're gonna we're going to blend all that out. It's okay. So if you guys come on and watch this in a replay, give me a hashtag replay in the comments, and then um, once you share it, give me a hashtag shared as that will get you an entry into a giveaway. And I think I'm gonna have the giveaway probably about mid-month. And then also, um, I'm asking, um, have y'all earned free makeup from me yet? If not, drop me a hashtag heart down in the, uh, or just a heart emoji. It doesn't even have to be a hashtag. Just give me a little heart emoji and uh, we will get some free makeup in just about an hour of your time, believe it or not. Yeah, just an hour of your time. So again, give me a hashtag heart. Whew. I am going to go get my neck popped today. Um, because my hands are going numb. So now, all of that that I put on, I'm just taking a nice fluffy powder brush and I blended that in and now I'm gonna take a little bit of setting powder. Our setting powder is just um, translucent and on that fluffy brush, set the makeup and finish blending everything out. So the harsh lines go away, but we still have our really beautiful makeup. Now, if you notice, I didn't put blush on beforehand because I love my shimmer blush and the translucent powder will uh, matte down the, uh, the shimmer blush. So where's my coffee, gosh. So, set my makeup, and then I'm going to put my shimmer blush on. This is in the color supported. When you buy this color, <laughs> some of the proceeds go toward the Unique Foundation, which helps adult survivors of childhood sexual trauma, um, sexual abuse, sexual trauma. Um, that can go from anything from a family member um, abusing a child to um, somebody who was caught up in the sex trafficking. Um, sex trafficking covers anything from being kidnapped and pimped out to prostitution, which is they normally catch those kids, um, you know, that run away. And um, they just are very much abused. So. It's a very good foundation, so uh, that's just my plug for it. Um, we're not gonna use splurge today because there's a new customer kudos, but apparently I'm on a little early, so I haven't seen what it is yet. But as soon as I know, I will let you know, and then we will start doing some videos on it. Today I'm gonna use some of our pressed powders. Um, this is our 25Z palette. Um, so you can take your colors as you buy them instead of having a bunch of four or eight packs or even single packs. You've got everything all together. 
and most of the colors I don't have memorized, so I'll just kind of tell you what they are. But let's get some brows done first. I always like to get try to get my brows done before my eyeshadow, and then I can touch them up if I need to after the eyeshadow. So using the brow palette, two colors for the brows, a dark and a light with the Brow Artist brush. So, nothing really going on, man. I was sick all weekend. I was in bed, like, poor Manny. Um, you know, we spend a couple hours in the evening together because he rides the bus, so he gets home a little late because he's at the whim of the bus times. And then, you know, the bus pulls into the park and ride area, and then he's got to get the car. And then if he needs to stop for anything, gas or whatever, lottery tickets. And then he gets home like around 6. And because he gets up so early to catch the bus, you know, we don't stay up very late. Usually, by the time dinner's over, I'm ready to go put my feet up. And that gives him time to do whatever he wants in the evening, watch videos on the... YouTube or whatever. So weekends are our time to spend together and I literally on Saturday got up to take the dogs to the dog park with him. Um, came home from that. I think we did something. I can't even remember. Actually no. I went back to bed and I got up at lunchtime and I had a little bit to eat because uh, my stomach was bothering me. And so I was up for like a half an hour at lunchtime. And then he brought me some dinner in bed, I think, or I might have got up for a little bit of dinner and then back to bed. And then Sunday got up to go to church, came home, back to bed, and I didn't get out of bed until like... 11 o'clock Monday and so I got up and I did a few things I, I've been making some jewelry guys I've got some earrings and some necklaces that I made as well as more rosaries I'll be posting those over on designs of the spirit if you haven't liked that page yet just give it a search and go like the page and Manny's been taking some more professional looking pictures, so I'll get some of that posted. And then I should have my Etsy site up pretty soon. So, okay, what I've done is I've used a lighter color from the start of the brow to up here, and then the darker color to the tail. So, lighter color to the, start, uh, to the center of the arch, and then your darker color around. And then with what's left over on the brush with the darker color, I just kind of ombre the rest of the brow out. And that's it for brows. They're, once you get used to doing your brows, they're a little intimidating at first. Um, it took me a while to get used to it. Um, but, you know, once you get used to it, they're nothing. And they really... Um, they uh, frame your face so much. You know, I used to think, ah, I don't need to do my brows. And yeah, you need to do your brows. So I think as a highlight color, I'm going to come in with this color. It is Agile. So that's going to be this color right here. I believe that's one of the colors that you get in the kit. And I'm going to use a blending brush. And since I have a hooded eye, it's going above the crease and I love the blending brush because it kind of it puts your color on and blends it all at the same time so yeah for those of us that are lazy and in a hurry and I don't even know what time it is y'all see oh I still got a little bit of time yay um, but yeah, so anyway, um, I was sick all weekend and I just barely started feeling better. And like I say, I've been just making a lot of jewelry yesterday. 
I made a couple really pretty uh, earrings with uh, tassels on them and uh, a pair of chandelier earrings and um, a wire wrapped uh, blackstone necklace and so I've been really getting into wire wrapping too so I've made a wire wrapped brace two wire wrapped bracelets two different kinds um, really enjoying the wire wrapping so I'll be doing more of that and trying to learn some more uh, on how to do wire wrapping because it's really beautiful really really beautiful uh, so that's my other thing that I do and then I'm gonna come in with this color if I can tell what it is because it the backing tore off but this is um, I believe this one's cynical and this might also be one that you get in your kit I can't remember the colors exactly but I know you get some great colors and what I'm going to do with that, it's got the blending brush. It's going to go in the corner of the eye. And then I also like to take the darker color and pull it down underneath the eye. Um, I have eyeliners, but it's so much easier just to do eyeshadow is an eyeliner that I hardly ever use eyeliners anymore I don't know why um, probably lazy what can I say yeah if there's an easier way to do something I'm all about it work smarter not harder yeah so anybody got any plans I am getting my sister a box together to mail her for her birthday because her birthday is coming up August is a good month she's at the beginning I'm at the end so it's kind of an all month party time it is the Weber girls birthdays I'm now a Sanchez she's a Hall but we were Weber's first so you know it is an all month party time starting with hers on the 8th and mine on the 27th and Manny and I were married this month as well we were married on the 21st the love of my life seems to think that that makes it a one gift giving opportunity but then he thinks that August is close enough to December that it should also be a one gift giving opportunity with Christmas but that's okay usually he gets me good stuff this last month he got me a new car I posted pictures of that yay for a new car so just getting the corners in there and then I guess I should find something blue to put in huh I'm gonna go over to one of our pre-made palettes and find going to be palette four if I can find it here and I'm gonna get one of these really color blues to put on you know since I'm wearing a blue shirt wouldn't be a bad idea to put some blue on So since I had a little darker colors going on, woo, right in the corner of the eye, look at that. That's all right, we'll fix it. So I, I always wait to totally clean off my brush, my foundation brush, because look at that magic eraser. Woo. Anyway, let's try this again. I, no wonder I grabbed the wrong brush no wonder it's going everywhere that's why having the right tools is a good thing when you grab the wrong brush you see how it goes just everywhere but that's all right there are really no mistakes in makeup 
just as that Bob guy, from the painter, would say, just happy little accidents. That's all. Happy little accidents. So, once again, the August kudos is coming out. As soon as I know what they are, I'll get it posted. Well, as soon as I get home from all my running around, I'll get it posted. Um, it was just too early. I went in to check, and it was too early, and... I didn't see where they announced it on the presenters page. I could have just missed it. Um, that's not something unusual for me. But I'm going in with this light blue color and we're just going to lightly hit the top right at the brow line. Just right there. And I didn't see who come on. And it's Bree, my little cousin. How are you, baby doll? How are the kids? She's a busy mama. She's got a Kaylee's five, six. I've lost count. Um, and then she got a little one that's about 10 or 11 months old. So she has her hands full, and Marie is, she loves animals, so she's always rescuing animals. She's teaching her children a love of all animals and insects and critters, which is a good thing. Her little one, Kaylee, um, she'll post pictures of her holding snakes and um, just bugs that would freak out most people. She has taught them not to be scared of I forgot to put eye primer on y'all but that's okay because our eyeshadows are so good it'll stay I'll put a little finishing spray on and it'll stay uh, it stays much better with eye primer but I see I was yakking talking about being sick all weekend blah 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 just yakking my my brains out and forgot to do what I needed to do. Just putting a couple things away over here. We're going to get some mascara on, some lips. Let's do some luminizer. I'm going to use a luminizing stick today. This is an iridescent. This is a cream to powder. And I'm going to put that on right up my cheekbones, right down my nose. And then a little bit, just what, like my chin a little bit where the Capel line has that golf ball chin. We all have it. If Bree's in and out of here, she knows the golf ball chin of the Capels. That's what Stacy and I call it, that little uh, right there. Her daddy has it. Her uncle has it. We all have it. Anybody that's part of the Capel line seems to have it. It's born into the Capel line, not married into the Capel line. So that would be my grandpa's name. Put a little too much Illuminizer down here on my chin, but that's all right. Again, no, no mistakes. Happy little accidents. I'm gonna get a little curl going on in my, now the Epic, Curls your lashes too. I just want a little extra curl on them. So again, if you're coming on and watching the replay, please give me a hashtag replay so I know you were here. And if you would please share to your friends Ron Bolin, how have you been? I saw you were in the hospital there, big guy. Um, sorry you're coming on to and seeing me putting on makeup, but, you know, that's what I do. It's how I roll. Um, but, and he's gone again, I think. I It's hard to tell who's here. You all know that I am blind as a bat without my glasses. So, and I can't wear contacts. I've got, like these like 
super dry eyes that even those contacts with, uh, they call them the wetting contacts that are supposed to keep your eyes moist. My eyes get dry so fast that within an hour of even wearing those extra moisturized contacts, I'm just like, it feels like the Sahara Desert is in my eyeball. So can't wear contacts. Hoping that next time I'm able to go to the eye doctor, that maybe they have something new that they didn't have a couple years ago, more like four years ago since I've been to an eye doctor, um, that I would be able to wear contacts. That would be super cool, super nice. Um, for nothing other than doing the makeup videos so I could see who's on here so I could talk to you and answer your questions as you post them. But um, that's okay. We will handle it one way or another. So this is the Epic Mascara. It's a one step. Our other mascara is the 3D Fibers, which is a two step. You do a gel and then you, which is a colored like a mascara, but it's also formulated to hold the fibers onto your eyelashes. Um, so you do a gel fibers gel and Carol remind me um, if you haven't seen the 3D fibers put on yet um, I'll try to remember to do those maybe over on the VIP page um, before you get the kit just so that you can see the proper way that those go on um, before you try it because it can be kind of frustrating if you haven't seen somebody do it and I'm not sure if you see me do it yet so um, I can definitely do that for you. And I put some Jamberry wraps on my nails. I totally forgot that you sent me some samples and then I found your envelope after I put some on my nails. So next time I do my nails, I'm gonna try those samples you sent me. Um, and those you just put on, you don't use heat on those if I'm correct, right? And so I'm going to try those because I'm kind of excited. If they're much easier to put on and if they last, um, it would be nice not having to break out the heater and having to do like an hour of nail prep. I know you need to do nail prep for anything, but, you know, sometimes I just ain't got the time for all that. So, oh, we need some lippy stuff. And, of course, I bet the color I want to use is in my purse. So we we'll just use something until I get it all off. And then this color, and y'all, you know I love my liquid lipsticks. Love them. But the liquid lipsticks, they're very pigmented. So what I do is I take the little applicator brush out and then I wipe and I wipe a ton. You know, you think that you're not gonna get any color, but I mean like, I just wipe a ton of what's on that brush, the sponge brush, off back into the bottle. This is why these liquid lipsticks will last you forever. You can take a lip brush and put a little bit on a lip brush and put that on your lips but I've been using the sponge on these. I don't know if you can see how much, see how much I put back into. That's how much I wiped off. And there's still a ton on there. So wipe a little more off. And then make sure that your lips are dry and that you don't have any of your lip exfoliator on. And then be real careful because this liquid lip goes a long way. And the reason I wipe so much off 
is you can get this stuff up to your eyeballs literally so I put some on the bottom lip rub and that's how much color you get and I uh, fix my cupid's bow so come around that curve straight down come around the curve we're making an X and that fixes your cupid's bow so that's sentimental and this is liquid lip dries uh, to a matte color it'll last me through lunchtime it's 9 8 30 here and I'm going to go to the chiropractor go face down on his table uh, my makeup's gonna last through that I'll try to remember to take a picture of that um, after the chiropractor then I'm gonna be out it's gonna be a hundred degrees 108 degrees today so I'm gonna be out going to the DMV MVD whatever we call it here motor vehicle division they sent me a license plate for my car and the dealership Wow that curl did not stay in that side at all did it I'm gonna to have to recut recurl that that's disappointing I don't know what's going on with my hair I must need to get it cut because I can't get the curl to stay lately and I'm using the stuff that my hair likes like it stays the curl was used to stay for like three days if I wanted it but oh well I'm going to relight that up and I'm not putting on my my jewelry yet because I am going to a chiropractor but that's gonna be my necklace love it love it love it with some big hoop earrings and then of course my wedding ring and a couple other rings so that is going to be it for today y'all I hope you had a good time um, hashtag replay hit me a hashtag share when you shared the video um, so that I can put you into a giveaway I'm going to do a giveaway a little bit later in the month in a couple weeks maybe Hey Mike, happy birthday belated. How you doing chief? And uh, so yeah, hashtag replay for the ladies in your list that would probably enjoy this. And um, I just realized that mobile back there makes me look like I have like little parrots growing out of my head. That's kind of funny. Um, and then uh, so hashtag replay, hashtag share. I'll put you in for a drawing, and uh, Chief, if you'd share it to the ladies on your list, you'd be my best friend forever, even though you're my best friend forever already, but you know, I just have to say it. And you guys, happy Wednesday, have a blessed day, God loves you, I love you, take care, I'm going to go fix this mess and then get out of here. Have a good day, bye.